What's up guys, we finally made it to the Masai Mara after so many forms of transport from LAX to Qatar to Nairobi and we're finally here in the Masai Mara Conservancy. We're at the Offbeat Mara Camp and we got upgraded to this wonderful tent and on our way from the Mara North Airstrip we saw so many animals. <laughs> we saw lions, elephants, uh, giraffes. It was awesome. It was like a little mini safari. So I just want to take you guys on a little room tour of this Offbeat Mara Camp tent. On the outside you have a couple of chairs to sit and watch the animals go by. This looks like a little day bed and then there's also some more chairs on that side. You come inside, you have a huge bed, huge king bed. You have dual sinks, shower with a 20 liter bucket. So you have to conserve the amount that you're going to be using. Flush toilet, outlets, there's also a fan. You come into this living area, living room area. Um, there is shelving, chair, um, I guess this open cabinet to hang your clothes through the hallway into the next section of the tent and there's three twin beds also with the fan and there's another bathroom an additional bathroom with a shower dual sinks and a toilet and it's located in the Mara North Conservancy so the uh, drivers could go off-road they don't have to just stay on the main roads like they do in the game parks so yeah i think now we're just gonna get some lunch uh, register and uh, probably go on a safari later morning. Last night I was awoken by the sounds of a hippo. It was adjacent to our tent and I heard it like crunching on some vegetation and stuff so it kind of freaked me out a little bit. It was a little scared but as long as you're in your tent you're safe. But yeah so today we're gonna do uh, get a bush breakfast and then we're gonna do a morning safari and uh, probably do another night safari, so we'll see you out there. We were met in the morning by our guide, David, a local Maasai who was born and raised in the Mara. He has over 17 years of experience and is silver level qualified. He knows every square inch of the conservancy and located all of the big five animals besides the rhino, which he noted that it does not migrate this far north. Nonetheless, we drank our freshly brewed coffee had an excellent morning conversation with him, then drove into the bush on our first morning game drive. This is our family group, see the babies? Our elephants, uh, they live in family group. These males, one is the dominant, so, and, uh, and the dominant male is the one who eats the most. It is absolutely fascinating to observe these wild animals in their niche up close without walls or fences. Being able to look at them directly in their eyes, to hear them breathe, yawn, and engage in various behaviors made us feel connected to nature. These offbeat pride of lions were relaxed, and as the land began to warm up, a few took refuge in the shade provided by our safari vehicle, creating up close, unhindered viewing. So we 
finally made it out to the bush breakfast next to the Mara River. And we have our wonderful breakfast. Pastries, potatoes, hard boiled eggs, pancake juice, we have coffee, there's bacon and sausage. <laughs> I feel like I'm in Jurassic Park right now. <laughs> it's amazing. And then we have our wonderful guide. Amazing, very knowledgeable. Knows where all the animals are at. And this is uh, the main river, the Ma River. This is the river which the migration cross further downstream. They cross on the way when they're coming into the map. There's a bit of people fighting. After we eat breakfast, we're just gonna continue on safari again for our morning game drive, and then we'll end up back at the camp for a rest, and then probably head out either on an afternoon game drive or night game drive. animals, uh, two different prides of lions, um, cheetahs, uh, hyenas, and then tomorrow we're just going to wake up early, six o'clock in the morning, do a morning game drive, and then we're going to visit a Maasai village where hopefully uh, we will see the Maasai warriors singing and dancing and uh, learn about their culture tomorrow. So really looking forward to that. So yeah, we'll see you for Day number two here at Offbeat Mara Camp. And when we are coming to call for the conservancy, mm -hmm. then they come and see, yes, yeah, yeah really, these are the holes, the holes, mm -hmm. some few remaining for bones, breaking of bones. So when you given out a cow for this, you can get many cows from it. 
There are some pigs because our sticks used to have spaces. So in order to see, we better put grass across them so that the spaces will be invisible. So they use mud and cow. Okay. So, so the soup I mean is that uh, um, we boil meat to ripe. Mm -hmm. When it's okay, we put, a, we put the, the meat from the fire, from the boiling water. Mm -hmm. Then uh, we must have fat. Yeah. But before we put part, we have to mm. put uh, yes. you know garbage. Yes, yeah. mm -hmm. I like cabbage. We have we have um, s uh, market once a week. Okay. So that's where we get cabbage. Okay. We get uh, sugar. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So we give a half a liter mm -hmm. of fat, okay. and we have another tree which we believe that it washes the womb. Mm. Then we we boil it with the with the tubs. Mm -hmm. We boil that uh, fat. And then uh, we sieve it, very bitter. The second full day on safari where we indulged in a morning game drive. We saw elephants, an adult giraffe, and its baby. And then we had a bush breakfast. After that, we visited the Maasai village where we learned about their culture. We met their chief. We learned about what they eat and their diet. We saw where they sleep and we experienced the singing and dancing Maasai warriors. We even danced among them and it was fascinating to experience to be able to be surrounded within their culture and tomorrow will be day three where we will do a morning game drive followed by a bush breakfast hopefully by the Mara River and then back at camp to rest and then either an evening game drive or a night game drive. Good morning guys another stunning day in the Maasai Mara it's our third full day here in Kenya and actually last night uh, Gabby went on a evening safari. I stayed back at the camp here in the tent because I was just exhausted but they found the elusive leopard and it looks stunning. It's so cool. I wish I could have been there on that uh, game drive to see that and then uh, another uh, our neighbor actually saw a kill by the offbeat pride. Uh, they killed um, a buffalo and it was about 10 lionesses so pretty cool experience last night for Gabby and our neighbor to see those animals um, but yeah today is just gonna be more of the same I'm gonna do our morning game drive we'll have our bush breakfast and then I think Gabby's probably gonna do a walking safari I might sit that one out and then we're gonna do a night game drive so yeah before we head out just gonna sip our coffee and enjoy the views if you haven't been on a safari, it is an extremely interesting perspective viewing these beautiful large animals up close and far away in their natural environment without them being caged or enclosed behind a fence. It is a unique experience that allows us to observe the natural world unfolding before our own eyes. Oh, yeah. Wow, yeah. good spot. And if you're susceptible to motion sickness, do bring Dramamine. The roads in the Mara can be bumpy as you traverse the off-road terrain. These are gazelles.
were trying to find the leopard. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't locate it. And uh, yeah, but we saw a herd of elephants during our bush breakfast and some zebra, which was really cool. And uh, yeah, we got moved to this tent because of our neighbors. Um, they have a group of three with a teenager. So I guess this is a good time to give you a room tour. And just like the family suite, on the outside there's a day bed. And you have two chairs with a table. This is the view that you get. Come inside, huge king bed. You have an open closet. They provide a couple of robes. And you have your shower, little sinks with mirrors, and a flush toilet. And then on this side, <laughs> you have your twin bed with the shelf. So, yeah. So yeah, um, after this, we're just gonna rest up, maybe get some lunch, get some drinks or whatnot. And then I'm gonna do the walking safari with Gabby. And then after that, we're gonna do the night safari. So yeah, it should be another cool day in the Masai Mara. And we'll see you out there. The nice. giraffe and the baboon, and also the velvet monkey. Mm -hmm. They have got a very good eyesight whereby they can see things by different yeah. colors. And the other thing, when they walk, both sides of the legs work uh -huh. together yes. and when they want to run, they wobble. <laughs> so I like yeah. the way they wobble I when they run. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. And then I like also the male lion. The reason why I like the male lion, in case when a male lion walk in a plain area <laughs> and there is a lot of animals just around, mm -hmm. you see no one want to behave. They behave well <laughs> because the king of the jungle <laughs> is moving. <laughs> All of them standing still, snorting, jumping a little bit like this. Some baboon tracks. So we have our proper sundowner next to the famous acacia tree. Yes, got my drink in hand. All right. Sweet. Moscow mule. <laughs> Moscow mule. <laughs> some snacks. Chips, chicken, popcorn. Got the fire brewing, the bar, beautiful view of the Asamara. Good morning, guys. It is our fourth full day. I figured this would be a great spot to start the video. We're gonna have our bush breakfast. And I believe there's a hippo hanging out in the water, cooling off. We're gonna enjoy these views on our last day. And then we're gonna hang out, go back to the camp, hang out there, probably have lunch, rest up a little bit. <laughs> rest up a little bit and then do our evening or afternoon game drive and then call it a night. Every time at least there is a section yeah. which is completely uh, free of grazing. So always the animals they have yeah. plenty of grass in one and section. Option, yeah. And then the mana, we are quite high altitude and we get mm. convection or rain from Lake Victoria. Mm. Oh, so oh, wow. apart from okay. the normal yeah. Southeast moons and wind, which we get in April, May. Mm -hmm. uh, in October, November, we get confectional rain. The lake is on the western mm. side. So we get, you know, the sea breeze and land breeze. Yeah. And then we is a lounge 
area where you can hang out. They have Wi-Fi. It's pretty good, pretty strong. And then in the back is the dining area. Hey, Hello. Hey, hey. How are you doing? <laughs> good. How are you? These are my friends. Yeah, the yeah. bartender. Yeah. The waiter. Yeah. Um, this is the dining area. Nice and beautiful. Good backdrop with lush, dense vegetation. So this is where you have lunch, dinner. You could opt to have breakfast here as well. And then, like I said, the bar area to the right. And you could just lounge here, hang out between game drives. Oh yeah, they even have like coffee too, water. And this is their menu, cocktails, wines, beers, all of this is included, it's all inclusive. So I did want to talk a little bit about uh, Offbeat Mara and like the types of game drives that they offer. Um, you usually do two game drives, one in the morning where you wake up pretty early at like 5.30, but that could be flexible, you could wake up at 7.30 or 7 o'clock. You'll go on your game drive for a couple of hours and then you'll have your breakfast and then you'll do another hour or so out in the bush. You'll come back, you'll have lunch, um, rest up. You can even do a walking safari if you want to do that. And then after that, you have a afternoon slash evening game drive that starts at like 4.30 and then they'll probably do a sundowner. Um, and then after that, you'll have dinner or you could do a night game drive. So yeah, and then you could do the night game drive that'll last an hour or so, and then you'll come back to camp, have a late dinner, and then start all over again. And then the other thing I wanted to mention is that the weather. So you're gonna wanna wear like layers. I'm comfortable with a down jacket, a goose down jacket. You could bring a synthetic one. It's been very cold early in the morning from like 5.30 to about 9 a.m., 10 a.m. After that, it heats up significantly and it gets really hot during the day. And then it cools down dramatically at night. Our last night in the Masai Mara, we got this beautiful romantic table setting outside on our patio surrounded by kerosene lamps. We got the fireflies in the background and we could hear animals <laughs> roaming around. I think there's a herd of elephants that are nearby and uh you got the raindrops falling thanks for a pretty magical setting on our last night hey what's up guys this is actually our last day on safari we're at the mara north airstrip where we're gonna catch a flight back to Nairobi. We will overnight there and then we will fly out to Zanzibar for about a week. If you found this video form informative uh, or valuable, um, please do us a favor and tap that thumbs up button so that others can more easily find it. And if you wanna watch more videos from our channel, subscribe and uh, we'll catch you in Zanzibar.